And it's, it's unfortunate that they're so spread out throughout the world. Yeah. Uh, but regardless, the Samus metagame moves on anyways. Yes. So we are, in fact, seeing Mars versus Gluto. And this is going to be an interesting one. Yeah, we'll see how this goes down. Yeah, Mars, number three in the world, of course, getting fourth at Shine in Super Smash Con as of late. And Gluto. This guy is good. Yep. The Wario has really shown that, you know, he got third at Evo. He can do anything that he wants to anyone. Disgusting things. Yeah. It's not every day that you see a, a Frenchman fart on, a, on an American. <laughs> yeah. Mars, uh, I think the only other person, like, in recent recent months that has won a, a major besides uh, MK Leo and Tweak, if they're all in attendance. Right, right. So it's interesting. It was interesting to, to develop the story of a trifecta, but I think uh, MK Leo and Tweak have kind of started going past Mars a little bit. So we're going to have to see if Mars can play a little bit of catch up. Right. Neither of the other two are in attendance today, so let's see how far he can make it. Yeah, and this Mars definitely the expected, you know, winner of this tournament, but here he is in loser's top eight. Yep. Right off the bat, we're going back to PS2, as we do so often. Yeah, keeping up that spacing, uh, you know, Wario a little bit stubby, especially with that Nair, is a great approach option, but at the same time, you can get uh, backdashed into like any kind of punishment with DSS relatively easily, so sometimes it's a little bit difficult to try and punish. See? Back, dash back into grab. Very Absolutely. easy stuff. Ooh, that's great damage coming out from Mars. He's got a huge lead Ooh. in that boost kick, calling out the jump out of the bike from Gluto. Gluto definitely kicked himself for that one. Yeah. Mars had his back towards Gluttony. I wonder if maybe he thought, oh, okay, back here, so I'll just go above it and then D-reverse boost kick. Forgot about that option. Very nice trump there. Yeah, that is a great mix-up for Mars. He's going to keep getting mileage off of stuff like that. He's got to find these creative kills as he's so good at doing. Yep. Frame one jab, beats out whatever option Gluttony is trying to beat out there. There's the fair into the dash attack. Luto, since losing that stock, has put on some good damage, but he's taken quite a bit himself. Uh, no down smash tech chase right there. But he still got the control at the ledge, so wow. Just to the fair. Will he catch him high again? Not quite. He went high, but Mars was not ready to cover it. Yeah, there's the fair from the ledge. Mars looking to retake the stage, but he gets parried on his Zare, and Gluto able to take that stock. Very nice dash attack after the parry. Great reactions there. Here comes the bike. <laughs> Luto able to weave out of the disadvantage from Mars. Get some combos going. And this is a thing for Wario, right? He needs to get that hit so that he can start putting 60-ish percent on. Otherwise, this character really doesn't get to do too much other than edge guard. Right. Great DI on the boost kick. The up smash coming into play. No tech check scenario there. He was looking for maybe a tech roll away. Yeah, a WAP right now I think is on the table just because Pluto wants to just even up the, or take the lead, do something to just get it going. He's not going to save it for last, but now he will that yeah. he's lost that stock. Unless he can find it right here. There yeah, it is. He to go for it. Oh, he it survived! It doesn't kill. That's really unfortunate that he was on the left side of him. Yeah, unfortunate. If he be reverses it, maybe. But. Oh, but the slap. Yep. Taking out Mars. Mars. Going even in stocks now with Gluttony. This is looking very, very close between these two. Okay, but let's see what the combo is. The Lich is quite connect. Uh, unfortunate. Okay, there we go. We get jabs. I like how Gluttony decided to change. Instead of uh, trying to space out the Nair with a Fair, went in with a Orb with a Nair. He decided to go for a Fair instead. Keeping up and changing his options. Lars. Carrying Gluto to the right side. Luto waits for the down smash commitment. There's a Zare into the boost kick, and Mars taking game one. That last stop was a clinic. Yeah. What is what a that's where I'm looking. What a conversion. Like what a setup into into the boost kick. Yeah. This happened so quick too. Because Zare's such a great poking tool, and just setting it up into a kill and option like that. It's safe too. Like yeah. you just you just Zare unless they parry it. Like you just Zare, and then you get whatever you want. Sticking Mar with the same characters here. Yeah, we're sticking with it. Mars doing a great job in game one, showing that, you know, he can turn the dial when he needs to. And that yes. last stock is exactly where he when he turned it. 
Balloonie definitely being a little bit more careful. He was trying to space in with Nair earlier, and now he's kind of stopped that. Trying to figure out a way to get back in, maybe on the ground instead. But Mars so far looking really content to, you know, just kind of bully him off stage. Or on the ledge, rather. Yeah, and that time, Pluto staying in his bike, not jumping out. Mars expecting him to jump out. That's going to be the mix-up, right? Is when does he come out of that bike? Yeah. Trying to pick up the bike. Not quite happening. Uh, Mars has uses not... it as an air dodge trap. Yeah, he's not letting him breathe. He, this is really difficult for Luto. This is rough because when you have a ZSS who's just chugging along in the advantage state, you don't get to you know pick apart the other player's brain, right? Like Mars is getting to do mostly the same stuff over and over again, and it's working. As long as he gets to do that, it's going to be way harder for Luto later on in the set. Right. Uh, no tech chase there. Mars keeping up on the defense. Who's gonna get that next hit? Okay, swallow the bike. Uh, that works. I didn't realize he like scarfed it down in such a disgusting way. Well, I mean, he's eating a he's eating a bike. Yeah, right? but I just never really paid attention to it up until right now. Oh yeah. Luto with some good spacing, not able to poke through the shield for that back air. Not yet. Mars, he's really been making this first stock count. 28% so far, getting some more. Will he get the full string? No, he will not. Definitely got a lot of up there, so, okay, yeah. That, uh, yeah. Uh, that, yeah. He was hoping that he would hold shield after uh, yeah. spacing that, but he just went up and did it again. It was a good movement from Gluto saying, you know, you're at a, a distance where you might want to dash grab me. I'm just going to kind of play in the air, wait until you commit to something. Oh, just like that. Already has a whack available, available again. Uh-oh. That's the Gluto we know. Yeah. Evening this game up very quickly. I might have gone for a waft there on that whip grab. Not quite, though. Uh-oh. Great get-up attack from Mars. There's the down smash into the boost kick. Not going to do it just yet. Wow, still, not, still not enough. I guess he held in and uh, figured that he wouldn't die off the top. There's the kill with the side beat. Yeah. Mars. You know, he hasn't slowed down, but Gluto has been getting opportunities. That's the big difference between this game and the last. And Mars is really trying to tech chase. His bike is about to explode. Luto faking like he's going to go for it, then coming back in with a drift. All right, the upper strings. Yeah, and you always try to do a soft reset on that uh, on that short hop afterwards. But yeah, never you finds do. anything. And Luto, you know, saying this time I'm not going to air dodge. This time I'm going to mix it up, go for the down air. Mars, make it back. Mars really wants to hold on to the stock, and he won't be able to. Waft is on the table 100%. There's an up smash. Yeah, I guess the question is, will ZSS get robbed today? That's the, that's the question. Uh-oh. It's always dangerous. As soon as Wario gets that one hit. The bike pressure. Luto got an opening. Ah, uh, didn't quite get it. He did, I don't think he fast fell on the second there. So yeah, he didn't. a little bit off on his timing. Yeah, so he didn't get the true combo off of it. Down there from Mars. Mars looking like he's trying to find it. Oh, the conversion! Not quite. Yeah, great. Oh, try. oh no, that might. <laughs> oh my Luto god. Luto hasn't man. been able. He's been getting so many opportunities, but he just hasn't been able to make them work for him. Yeah. I don't think he was really expecting that grab to happen point blank, so he kind of just went for a different option instead. Man. He's looking for like the one hit setups right now. He's looking yeah. for like up tilt. He's looking for up air. There it is. There it is. <laughs> That's going to be the game for Luto. Yeah. He died at 40. Very great, great, very great character. Yes. If anyone says otherwise, then <laughs> you haven't fought enough Warriors, in my opinion. Yeah, Warriors who know when to waft, who know their setups, and are confident in their ability to hit them, those are the scariest. Yep. So Mars is going to be looking at a counter pick. Battlefield. Ooh, we haven't seen this stage really too much today. No? FD. He's teasing me. Thinking. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's reasonable to think about. It looks like we're going to FD, but, you know, do you want Battlefield where you can get extended combos or, you know, because when ZSS gets that combo that goes up, she doesn't really have, like, a guaranteed way to get the to continue the combo, right? It's right. always going to be a soft reset and a mix-up. Whereas for Wario, Wario gets to extend the combos onto the platforms and just continue them without having to do any kind of reset. So uh -huh. I definitely see how the FD pick definitely benefits. Yes, that's a little bit more. B 
be a little bit more slow in uh, the neutral this time. That time got just a free air into a bunch of damage, though. Yeah, and this time, Wart, you know, Luto has been doing a lot of double jumping in neutral. So it's going to be interesting to see how he approaches Mars and how he kind of, like, baits out some movement. Because that's been a lot of what he's doing. He's hitting, he's chilling out on the platforms. He's got the space to, you know, extend what he wants to extend. And Mars shutting it down with the FD pick. He got the control. Oh, wow, that, wow, that reached. I didn't know he could go that high. Game three, Gluto's been doing a great job. There's okay. the berry. Boost, boost kick. kick, might not kill. Yeah, great reversal of uh, opportunity though from Mars. Tried to get it again, but the double jump was saved. Still fine. There's the side B. It's a bit more percent for its kill. Oh! Zare to Zare. Zare to yeah, awesome that was some. That was some new stuff. I don't yeah. think we've seen that. <laughs> We saw the we saw the Zare into the boost kick. I mean, why not? It was a good going to yeah, smash. Yeah. Again. yeah. And stocks are even, but Gluto, he's putting on percent every time that he gets an opening with a nair or an up tilt. He just gets so much damage off of it. Continuing on with the conversion, tech chase scenario. Oh, oh wow! That time he was ready, and he gets the weak waff. That's going to be a solid lead. That's huge for Gluto. That's a full stock lead. Yeah. Now Mars has a lot of catching up to do, actually. But he can do it. We've seen him doing it this whole time. Wish the grab, no punish. Yeah, he's being very patient with the spacing right now. Yeah, these guys are, they're, you know, they're attacking each other's shields, and then the other player will swing at a shield, but the spacing's been on point, so no one's really getting anything in the scrambles. Uh-oh. Yeah. Really thought that he was going to stay grounded, so he's not going for the grab, but... Looney says no. Yeah, that's the one downside about DSS. You can poke and prod as much as you want, but at a certain point, you're going to have to commit to a grab if they're holding shield. Right. OK. Barry. There's the up air afterwards. Not going to get a back air. Oh, uh, jab block. three. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought that maybe he didn't like it, the block thing. Oh, that's unfortunate. Already. Yeah, that boost kick did not connect. And no. Mars is kicking himself for that one. Pluto is going to take that one all the way to the bank. Yeah. F Smash, not a movie yet, but to see if you really at all for Mario. Yeah. I mean, it's free. It, that was basically a free one, so yeah. why not? That definitely would have taken the stock. So but let's see, man. Uh, looking a little rough here. Game four, Mars. The FD pick didn't really work out. We're switching to Smashville. I don't blame him. I think it's even smaller than FD, so let's yeah. see what we do here. It's going to force them to interact a little bit more. And, you know, hopefully Mars can make those be those interactions be on his terms. That's really what he's looking for. Right. Okay. Chomp into Porter. Okay. And so Mar it seems like Mars has gone for that grab in that same situation every time. He thinks that Gluto is going to land after he does a full hop, mm -hmm. and then Gluto just expends the second jump, which is dangerous, but Mars has gone for the grab every time, so why not keep baiting him into doing it if he's going to keep doing it? Right. Trying to keep up with the platform pressure underneath, but Gluteny just very calm collected. Decides to wait for the right opportunity. Oh, I think he wanted to do like the spike with the kick flip, yeah. but then he accidentally grabbed the ledge instead. Didn't quite press it in time. Uh-oh, this is dangerous. He's out of resources, that's death. Yeah, definitely. Try to finish it off with Dare just to make sure, but yeah, that's still a lead for Gluttony. There's the grab. Not gonna get the tech chase on that. Oh man, the damage is just tacking on slowly yeah. and slowly. There's the backer, not gonna seal it out. 134 on Gluto. There's the boost kick. That will kill. Yeah, that's just enough. Wario back at it here. He's got the Angel Invincibility platform, but not quite going to find anything. Ooh, the empty hop in the grab, taking a page out of his fellow New Englanders book light. Yeah. And uh, the empty hop grabs are always so fascinating with ZSS because they're so slow. So you're yeah. thinking like, oh, they shouldn't be pressured. But yeah, this is getting so much off of it. Yeah, Gluto, it seems like every time he's in the corner, oh my, that was so much damage with the bike yeah. getting involved. 
But every time Gluto's in the corner, he goes for like a short hop. He kind of met. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, I think he tried to catch him in the air with a kick flip or something, yeah. but he didn't quite go the way he wanted to. You don't see Gluto kind of commit the walk for a read that often. Yeah. Definitely tries to set it up first before like committing to it, but not quite finding it there. Oh, oh no! A lot of damage. He's fine though, yeah, but you don't want to be in this position against the SS. Back air, nothing. Oh, it did mess up the, the bike combo that yeah, time. Yeah, he's a little off the timing. He couldn't pummel, he just had to like chill for like a half a second. Yeah. Mars looking for his air, looking for a way in to start something. Luto doing the same. This bike could lead to the pressure that he needs. Get a stock. Being so careful in the neutral. I don't think either of these two want to go to a last stock scenario. But the parry wow. into boost kick. Not much that Gluttony could have done about that. He really thought he was going to be able to get that tracing in. But yeah, just the parry. Sometimes you just have to be ready for it and accept it. Yeah, you have to be so careful about putting moves out, especially ones that are as laggy as back air is. Yes. Before, yeah. No dodge attack today. Uh oh. Yeah, he falls through the platform safely. Alrighty, gets a side beat. Oh, the Ooh. dash attack. Yeah. Wow, just he went flying. flying. Yeah. All the way across the stage too. Mars, he's got the up airs. He's got Gluto above him. Now he's putting him off stage. Just enough time to make it back too. There's a the back air. Mars, he's got the stage positioning. He's really, really close to taking this one, but it's Wario, man. Anything can happen. Yeah, he used it up earlier, but I think even a small one might be able to do it depending on where they are. He's just got to figure out how to survive too, so that, never mind. No, no yeah. surviving here. Mars never with the mind. boost kick. Going to seal out game number four. We're going to a game five. This is what, the second one of these we've had? I think so, yeah. There's a couple of them. Again, actually, with our fancy mobile di mobile devices. Devices. This is our third one. Yeah. Lar Larry and Light was also game five. That's right. Yeah. Gluttony. He's, uh, he's actually making a lot of good win getting a lot of good wins today. So we'll see if he can try and take one more off the board against number three in the world today. Absolutely. Luto has been on a roll, but so has Mars ever since he lost to Kome. He has been destroying everybody in his path. Yeah. He's back with a vengeance. He's trying to make it back to the top. Yeah, very careful neutral this time around. Neither of them committing, and as soon as Mars commits, he just gets opened up with a combo. Not too bad, though. He can still make his back. Make up the damage easily. Wow, I think that Danta pushed them away from grab range. That, that just sucks. Yeah. Now that we're pretty even, Gluto finally kind of getting a little bit more of his combo game going in this game. Backer's not coming out. Wario's aerial drift just playing such a big part in his ability to space moves, right? He can tap your shield and then just instantly drift away in a manner that you can't punish. Yeah, just trades for trades Ooh. so far between these two. Yeah, they're just going back and forth. Who's going to pick that first option, though? The big first committal that's going to cost him the stock. Yeah. I think both of these know that... Uh, both of them know that they need, like, a good stock lead to really try and bring things around because the balloon he still has pretty much only a one walkable game just yeah. based on how he's been using them, so... Yeah, someone's going to make a play here, and it's either going to net them the stock or have their stock taken. That's yeah. usually what it seems to be with Mars and Pluto. Yeah, try to go for an edge guard. These two are just very stubborn and uh, trying to stay safe on this first stock here. All of a sudden, now that it went to game five, uh, not looking too safe. Yeah, Mars able to flip kick away. Pluto still taking control of the stage. Looking for a bite. Probably would kill by the ledge right now. There's the dash attack. Yes. Alright, the WAP is available. Uh -oh. Death. Oh, never mind. Uh, I, I looked at the wrong percent. So I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. There we go. Boost kicks being able to take that next stock. And this is looking very similar to the last few games. These guys are just kind of going stock for stock. They don't really, uh, they don't really dominate too much. It's just one person is taking the stock the first time, and then someone follows suit. Right. And just kind of whittle it down to the end. Oh, parries. Both of them parry each other. 
they're really they really understand the flow of like Wario and DSS's uh, aerials, especially in different positions. That's very admirable for uh, of both players. This might be a WAF setup coming our way. Oh, that was really close. Yeah. Mars has got to be careful. Still looking for it. Mars is playing good defense around this. He knows he's looking for it. Getting poked by the forward air, not the end of the world. As long as he doesn't get wafted. Lots of up airs. I thought he might have gone for a last boost kick there, but not quite. Smash four days are over. He just went for it. He was very confident that up air was in the land, yeah. or that he would drop shield after the up air. I, yeah, he, it looked like he was trying to go for a block string or something, but didn't quite work out in his favor, so. Just uh, gonna have to whiff that uh, down B. Yeah, so off, off the table at least for a few minutes. Uh oh, back air. Not gonna do it, but Mars is in a bad position. Retakes the stage. There's that there. No, not quite able to find anything. Yeah. Oh, the dash stack came out before the side B did. Mars almost paid for it with the stock. There's the bite. That's gonna kill. I killed? Yeah. All right then. CSS got to find something to bring us back to even. Yeah, Grito has been doing a great job of just, you know, sealing out stocks in this one. That's really been the problem for him in the past. He's been letting Mars live to unnatural percents for a right. CSS player. There's another bite. Mars, he gets that there, but he's not able to follow it up. Luto just pressuring Mars in the corner. No texture situations have quite arisen yet. That's the third miss boost kick like that. If Mars can correct that, get something going, but right now it's not looking good. There it is. That's gonna okay. kill right up in the corner. Very for, close. Yeah, for a second I was like, wait a minute, that's not gonna kill. Is it? And it did, thankfully. Right, Mars. Set. This is one combo away, one string. You know, he lands one up air, he can get a lot for it, but not that one. The waft is gonna miss 94% on Mars. This is huge for him that the waft is off the table. Now, Luto needs to find the kill in a more unnatural way than he's used to. Yeah, just being really careful, trying to figure out his way around. Getting around Gloomy, actually. There we go. Tech chase scenario. That's really big. Trying to go for double Nair. Trying to go for double grab. Luto with the back air, and that's gonna do it. Luto takes it over Mars. Very nice stuff. Just catches him in the air, right when uh, Mars was not expecting it. Very nice stuff. Moving on into uh, 